right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Boschimer Gymnasium for tonight's matchup. Emery and Henry Wasp in the home opener for your Tornadoes of Brevard College. Glad you're able to join us on this beautiful evening in the mountains of Western North Carolina. We're inside the Boschimer Gymnasium for non-conference action between the Tornadoes and Wasp coming up shortly. Starting lineup for the Tornado, Sydney Fox, Brianna Shields, Rayleigh Shire, Brooke Groves, Hannah Gordon, Sarah Hutchins, and the libero is Madriana Rodriguez. And Hannah Gordon will get things started with the service for the Tornadoes. Point was. Our first point of the match goes to Emery and Henry. Attack there by Sydney Fox and a kill by Sydney Fox. Tornado kill by Sydney Fox. Point tornadoes. And Fox will do the honors of the service here after that winning kill. Dug up nicely there by Rodriguez. Another attack by the Wasp. Dug up again by Rodriguez. Gordon with the set. Sending it over is O'Shields. Opportunity here for the Wasp and point Wasp. Point Wasp. Substitutions for the Wasp as number two Coolidge, or check that number two Williams checks out. And serving now for the Wasp, Abby Dillon. Little bit of discussion at the scores table to get some administrative duties out of the way. 2-1 your score, Emery and Henry on top of Brevard. Early goings in this opening set. And now we're ready to go as Abby Dillon with the serve for the Wasp. Point Wasp. Kill there by Mary Grace Grow. 3-1 now your score. Emery and Henry on top. And a service error there, so Point Tornadoes. Point Tornadoes. 3-2 your score, Rodriguez, the Tornado's libero, and very much the vocal leader of this Brevard College squad, will handle the duties. Served by Rodriguez. And point there for the Wasp. 4-2, Emery and Henry on top. So service now for Emery and Henry up 4-2. Gordon. Setting up Shiree for that last attack, and then, but the point goes to the Wasp after a bit of a rally there between the two teams. So the service continues for Emory and Henry. Point 
point was. 6-2 now your score as the service continues for the Wasp. Chelsea Purcell. Nifty little move there by Dillon trying to catch the Tornadoes off guard. And an attack error by the Tornadoes. Another point for the Wasp. Point Wasp. 7-2 now your score. Opening period here at the Boschmer Gymnasium. Home opener for the Brevard College Tornadoes. Good looking serve there, it'll be an ace for the Wasp. Point Wasp. Timeout, Tornadoes. So a timeout on the court, and the Tornadoes will huddle up and regroup. Well, do want to make a special announcement. Head coach of the Tornadoes, Anna Grant, and her husband, Seth Grant. Congratulations, because the newest Tornado on the land, Kellen Boyd Grant, was born yesterday at 3.50 p.m. He's eight pounds, 21 inches. Congratulations to head coach Grant and her husband, Seth, and welcome to NATO Nation, Kellen Boyd Grant. As we are ready to get going here after that timeout, Bailey Loudon and Stephanie Johnson, assistant coaches for the Tornadoes, handling matters on the Tornado bench and a service here for the Wasps. Gordon with a nifty little move, but it's going to be interference on the net. Point was. And the point will go to Emory and Henry, now up 9-2, to two, their largest lead of this opening set. Gordon. And a kill there. <laughs> Tornado kill, number 13, Brooke Groves. Kill there by Brooke Groves, and she'll be rewarded with a service opportunity here. Groves sends it over. 9-3 now your score. Dug up there by Fox. Rodriguez on the chase, but the point will go to the Wasp. Point Wasp. 10-3 now your score. Serving now for Emery and Henry will be the libero, Lauren Coolidge. She's a senior from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Fort Lauderdale High School. As some substitutions getting sorted out at the scores table, and we're ready to go here. Service will come from Lauren Coolidge. Rodriguez with the dig. Gordon. Here come the Wasp on the attack. Dug up there by the Tornadoes. Morgan Graham has checked into the match with a dig there to keep this rally alive. And there's Graham again. Attack there by Brianna O'Shield. Point Tornadoes. Point Tornadoes. Great job there, Tornadoes setting up their offense and ultimately the kill by Brianna O'Shields. Yeah. And that's a Tornado ace, point Tornadoes. Ace there by Brianna O'Shields. Tornado kill number two, Sydney Fox, point Tornadoes. Sydney Fox with the kill, 10-6 now the score, Tornadoes. Starting to creep back into this opening set. 
Rodriguez with the dig. Gordon. Big hit there. Point will go to the Wasp, however. So 11-6 now your score. Marissa Snap will handle the duties. She's a freshman from Chucky, Tennessee, Greenville High School. As the Tornadoes ready to receive this service. Down 11 to six, nice little change of momentum there these last few points. Tornadoes winning four of the last five points. Point Tornadoes. And for Bard College earns that point. So creeping back into this set, 11-7 now your score. Tornadoes continue to shift the momentum a bit here in this first set. Now trailing 12 to 8. Serve there by Gordon, a little long. Point Wasp. Thirteen eight. now your score. Thirteen nine. now your score here at the Boschmer Gymnasium. Set number one of the regular season opener. Thirteen ten. now your score after that. Judgment goes the way of the tornadoes. Rodriguez. Fox sends it over. Dug up there by the libero of the wasp. Coolidge. Fox with a nice dig there. Gordon. Setting up O'Shields nicely. In the point, tornadoes. Thirteen eleven, the score. So the Tornadoes have completely shifted the momentum here in this opening set. However, the Wasp catch a break there on the service error. Wasp with a couple of substitution, including the player who's going to handle the service duties here, Abby Dillon, freshman from Goodview, Virginia. Here comes O'Shields on the attack. Gordon. Setting up Sarah Hutchins that time. And then a kill by Emery and Henry. So the service of Abby Dillon will continue. And another kill for the Wasp. Now stretch their lead to 16-11.
16-12 now your score here after the service error for the Waz. Madriana Rodriguez, defensive specialist, libero out of Houston, Texas. Lamar High School, she'll handle the duties. The jump serve from Rodriguez. Nicely done there, the block by, and there's a timeout on the court. Braley Shiree with the block there, very impressive. And we've got a compelling first set here. Emery and Henry took an early lead, but the Tornadoes stormed back and kind of flipped the momentum in this one. And 16-13, now your score. And back here at the Boschmer Gymnasium as the Rodriguez service will continue. 16-13 your score. And the serve from Rodriguez, the jump serve yet again, backing up the libero of the Wasp. And the point will go to the Wasp. Blocks just not able to convert that point for the Tornadoes. 17-13 now your score. Point Tornadoes. 17-14, your score now, and the Tornadoes with an opportunity with the service here. Big kill there by Brianna O. Shields of the Tornadoes. And the Tornado service will continue. Now just down by two points. But the Wasp answer with a kill of their own. Eighteen fifteen, your score here as the momentum shifts continue. The Wasp trying to regain some momentum of their own. Coolidge, the libero with the serve. Gordon setting up O'Shields again for a big attack. And a kill there. Rayleigh Sheary, the big kill there. And Rayleigh, the junior from Forsyth County, Georgia, West Forsyth High School, will do the duties. A powerful serve from Rayleigh. And then a block for the Tornadoes. 18-17, your score. The Tornadoes have battled all the way back, now trailing by just one point. Service puts the Wasps back on their heels. Another block opportunity for the Tornadoes front line. This rally will continue. Rodriguez with the dig. Gordon with the assist. And the point to the Tornadoes. Rayleigh Sherry again with a Big kill there. We're all knotted up at 18. Tornadoes have battled all the way back, have not led in this first set. And after trailing by a significant deficit in that opening set, have battled back 
Now the Wasp with a one point lead. Cherie, very active on the front. All knotted up again at 19 apiece. Wasp with a point there, taking a 2019 lead. 2019, your score. Jump serve, handled there by Morgan Graham. Attack there by Fox, unable to get over the net. It's gonna be a point for the Wasp, up 21. 21-19, your score here in this opening set. Crowd here at the Bosch starting to get into it. Rodriguez, no choice but to send it over on the third touch on the Tornado side. And a kill there for the Wasp. They've all of a sudden taken a three-point lead here in the first set. Timeout on the court, 22-19. The score with the Wasp on top in what has been an exciting first set here in the home opener for the Brevard College Tornadoes. So Savannah Kazi will serve for the Wasp. 22-19 your score here in the first set. The Wasp have reeled off three straight points after the Tornadoes tied the score at 19. So now 22-20 your score and serving for the Tornadoes will be the setter, number 20, Hannah Gordon, the junior from right here in Brevard, North Carolina, Brevard High School. Tornadoes trailing by two get the feeling this is sort of a critical moment here in this opening set. Twenty-two, twenty-one. your score after the block by Sydney Fox. Crowd getting into it. Tornadoes trailing by just one point. Gordon with a powerful serve. And we're all tied up at 22 after the ace by Hannah Gordon. A lot of momentum for these Tornadoes. See if they can keep it up here on their home court. And the Tornadoes have taken their first lead of the first set. Trailed by, I believe, as many as seven points early on and now have taken the lead 23-22. The Gordon service continues. So all knotted up here at 23. Either team has to win by two points to win the set. Now the Tornadoes. Tornadoes with a set point right here, 24-23. Rodriguez, tacked there by Fox. Ooh. 
So we're knotted up again, 24-24. Of course, either team has to win by two. The Tornadoes had a set point opportunity there, unable to convert. This first set will continue. All knotted up at 24. They serve from Dillon, dug up by Rodriguez. Gordon setting up O'Shields. Here come the Wasp on the attack. Great dig there by Rodriguez, a diving stop to keep that point alive. Rodriguez again with the bump, setting up Fox, but it's gonna be point Wasp. It's gonna be set point for the Wasp. So a set point opportunity for the Wasp, up 25-24. Gordon. Setting up Hutchins on that last attack. Nice dig there by Rodriguez. And the Tornadoes fight off the set point opportunity for the Wasp. Now all knotted up at 25. We were tied at 23 all. We we're tied at 24 all. Now we're tied at 25 all. The jump serve from Rodriguez. So a set point opportunity for the Tornadoes. 26-25, Mondriana Rodriguez with the service. Big point there for the Tornadoes to win this opening set, 27-25. A dramatic come from behind victory in this opening set for the Tornadoes. 27-25, the first set victory. What a start for the Tornadoes as they open their home season with a 27-25 win in set number one of this match against Emery and Henry. We'll be coming up with set number two coming up next.
So getting going here, set number two after the Tornadoes with a dramatic 27-25 win in the first set and his kill there for the Tornadoes. So good start to the second set for the Tornadoes on that kill. Sydney Fox with the service for the Tornadoes. Dug up there by Rodriguez. Point Wasp. We'll bring you some first set stats momentarily. A dramatic 27-25 win for the Tornadoes in set number one. And an ace there for the Wasp going up 2-1 here in set number two. So Madriana Rodriguez will serve for the Tornadoes. 2-2 here in this second set. Rodriguez with the dig. Here come the Tornadoes on the attack. Defense is there, but the point will go to the Tornadoes. So Rodriguez, her service will continue. And the ace by Rodriguez. Now 3-2 Tornadoes. Check that 4-2 now the score Tornadoes on top. Another ace by Rodriguez, back-to-back -back aces. Now a 5-2 lead, Rodriguez. Back-to-back-to-back uh, -to -back -to -back aces now by Rodriguez. Three straight aces. Just feeling it with the jump serve is Rodriguez, the native of Houston, Texas. Finally, the Wasp able to end that flurry of service aces by Rodriguez. You can hear the crowd here at the Bosch really starting to get into it. A early season electric atmosphere. Brooke Groves handling the serve for the Tornadoes and an ace. So Groves with an ace, Rodriguez with three consecutive aces, and it all adds up to an eight to three lead here in period number two. Now some stats from that first set, the Tornadoes were led offensively up front by Groves and Fox. Brooke Groves and Sydney Fox each with four kills. Brianna O'Shields with two kills and Rayleigh Shirley with a kill as well. Hannah Gordon of course the setter for the Tornadoes with a team high and a game high 10 assists. One service ace in that first set but we've seen them here in the second set both from Groves and then three aces from Rodriguez. That first set ace was from Brianna O'Shields. And leading the tor Tornado dig uh, effort has been Rodriguez with five first set digs. Second set now, Tornadoes an 8-3 lead. Groves again with the serve for the Tornadoes. 
Groves, a sophomore from Mont Mount Holly, North Carolina, just down the road. Local product out of Brevard High School. Gordon. Dug up there by Fox. Gordon setting up Fox now. The, the attack by Fox dug up nicely there by the libero Coolidge of the Wasp. One of the longer rallies of the match thus far as that's dug up by Dillon, kept alive by the Wasp, and the, and the rally continues. Clearly the longest rally of the match thus far, a naggy kill for the Wasp. So 8-4, your score now. Checking in for the Tornadoes. Morgan Graham, the sophomore out of Covington, Virginia. And now a service opportunity for the Wasp. Backing Rodriguez way back on her heels, but she's able to keep that point alive for the Tornadoes. A nifty attack there by Fox, but here come the Wasp. The point will go to the Wasp as they are able to somehow get that attack in. some perspiration on the court as Rodriguez able to do a little bit of mopping duty, able to take care of business there. The vocal leader of the Tornadoes, Madriana Rodriguez. Serve here for Emery and Henry. So the service for Emory and Henry will continue. Abby Jennings out of Marion, Virginia with the serve. So 8-7 your score, Tornadoes on top. Here in this second set. Dug up there by Fox. So the point goes to the Tornadoes, now leading nine to seven, serving for the Tornadoes. Is number eight, Brianna O'Shields. Freshman from Jonesboro, Tennessee, David Crockett High School. O'Shields has made an early impact for these Tornadoes. A Brevard College newcomer put up some good numbers this past weekend in Birmingham, Alabama, where the Tornadoes opened their season on the road. So the affirmation, Brianna O'Shields, not only handling the serve, but with the kill for the Tornadoes, now lead nine to seven. Kept alive there by Graham. Rodriguez sends it over. Now here come the Wasp, a nifty little move there by Dillon. Dillon again keeps it alive. Then the libero, Coolidge, keeping it alive for Kressel. And the point will go to the Wasp. Ten eight, your score here in the second period. Tornadoes won set number one, 27 25. Rodriguez with the dig. Gordon setting up Fox. Fox with a big attack there, but dug up by Jennings. Here comes Crusso on the attack, dug up by Fox. O'Shields keeps it alive. Graham keeps it alive now for the Tornadoes. Here's O'Shields, her attack ends up in the net, so it's going to be a point for the Wasp. So 
So a service ace there by Keeley Doyle, number 13, sophomore from Lexington, Virginia. Fox has no choice but to send it over on the third touch by the Tornadoes. Now an opportunity for the Wasp. Wasp on the attack. Graham with the dig. Gordon setting up Fox. So another race for the Tornado, Cherie. And then Cherie with a big dig there. Rayleigh Cherie. 12-10 your score. Here come the Wasp. Block there, but just out of bounds. Point will go to the Wasp. 12-11 your score in a tightly contested set number two. Tornado fans really getting into it here at the Bosch. Marissa Snap will handle the serve for the Wasp, a jump serve from Snap. Tornado's getting it done on the defensive end, and now serving for the Tornadoes will be number 20, Hannah Gordon. Junior setter for the Tornadoes from right here in Brevard, North Carolina, Brevard High School. Hannah Gordon, jump serve from Gordon. Gordon. Doing a nice job setting up her attacker there. Rodriguez with the dig. Service now by number 10, Chelsea Kressel. Tornadoes with a one point lead here. And service here by Sydney Fox after the Tornadoes now with a two point lead, 14 to 12 here in the second set. Tornadoes won set number one, 27 25. That point will go the way of the Wasp, a nice attack there by Emery and Henry, 14-13 your score. 14-13 your score here in set number two. So 14-14 now your score, all knotted up here in set number two. The libero for the Wasp, Lauren Coolidge with the service. Sydney Fox with the attack for the Tornadoes. Here come the Wasp. Nice block there by the Tornadoes defensively. But then the Wasp able to put it away to win the point. Brianno Shields with a nice job with that block defensively, but the point, point ends up going to the Wasp. Wasp were able to regroup after that block by O'Shields and then a block by the Wasp. So Wasp now gaining a little bit of momentum. Lauren Coolidge with the serve again for the 
Emery and Henry Wasp out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Dug up there by Rodriguez. Attack there by O'Shields. And the point will go to the Tornadoes. Rodriguez will serve, look like O'Shields on that last kill for the Tornadoes. 16-15, now your score. Rodriguez with the serve. Dug up there by the Wasp. And it's gonna be an ace for Madriana Rodriguez. Tornado's ace for Rodriguez, unofficially her fourth ace of this set. She had three in a row earlier in this set. That served just a tad long, so the point will go to the Wasp. 17-16, now your score. Abby Dillon will serve for Emery and Henry. Dillon, the freshman from Goodview, Virginia. Big attack there for the Tornadoes. Brooke Groves blocked and, and then a kill for the Tornadoes. Look like Sydney Fox on the kill for the Tornadoes. And now serving for the Tornadoes, Brooke Groves. Ace there for Brooke Groves. The Tornadoes have been very effective with the service here in this second set. Now with an 18-17 lead, getting to that critical juncture in any set once you get into these high teens scoring wise and then a kill for the Tornadoes. your score, Tornadoes on top. In this back and forth affair here in the second set. Nineteen, eighteen. your score, Tornadoes on top. Emery and Henry with the service. And the point will go to the Wasp. 19-19, your score now. All tied up here in set number two. That serve is gonna go long, so the point will go to the Tornado. Shields with the serve for the Tornadoes. And the point will go to the Tornadoes who now getting a little bit of separation here, 21-19 here in the second set. The service from O'Shields will continue. The freshman from Jonesboro, Tennessee, David Crockett High School. What a diving save there for Rodriguez to keep it alive, but the point ultimately goes to the Wasp. Twenty-one, twenty. Your score. Service here by Doyle of the Wasp. Some back and forth action there along the the net, and then the kill for the Tornadoes. And a timeout on the court. Tornadoes with a 22-29 lead.
Another tight set here after the Tornadoes won set number one, 27 to 25. Tornadoes with a two point lead here, 22 to 20. Service for the Tona Tornadoes. It'll be Rayleigh Shiree. Shiree with the serve for the Tornadoes. Gordon setting up Sydney Fox and the kill by Sydney Fox. 23 20. Shiree with the serve. Tornadoes inching towards uh, perhaps a two set to nil lead, but then a service error going to be a point for the Wasp. 23 21, your score. And the Wasp, Marissa Snap, the freshman from Chucky, Tennessee, with the service. The Wasp trailing by two. Dug up by Graham. Gordon. Rodriguez trying to keep it alive, but the point will go to the Wasp. 23-22 your score. Impressive. Imp Set point for the Tornadoes, 24 to 22. Hannah Gordon will handle the service for the Tornadoes. Serve sails long, so Wasp will stay alive here in the second set. 24-23, it's still a set point situation for the Tornadoes. Fox, Fox with the attack. Gordon setting up Rodriguez that time. A long rally developing here between these two. Rodriguez, back and forth they go. Still a set point situation for the Tornadoes if they can earn this point. Now the Wasp back on their heels will have no choice but to send it over. Now an opportunity for the Tornadoes, Gordon. Somehow the Wasp kept that ball alive and again able to dig it out are the Wasp. What a dramatic finish to that second set. One of the longest rallies of the evening goes the way of the Tornadoes, and the Tornadoes, just like that, a two set to nil lead, winning the first set 25, check that 27-25, and the second set 25-23. What an effort so far in this home opener for the Tornadoes. An electric start to the home volleyball season here at the Bosch.
27-25. The Tornadoes win that first set, win the second set 25-23, and now just one set away from a match victory. Really impressive start here to the home season for the Tornadoes. Through two sets, the leader offensively for the Tornadoes has been Sydney Fox with eight kills. Also, Brianna O'Shields and Brooke Groves each with six kills. Three kills for Rayleigh Shirley and one kill for Hannah Gordon. Gordon also has 19 assists. Rodriguez with three aces, O'Shields, Shirley, and Groves each with an ace. Tornadoes all together have six aces here in the match thus far. Rodriguez with 19 digs, O'Shields with eight digs. Coolidge leading the Wasp with digs with 23, and Chelsea Cressel with eight kills, leading the Wasp offensively. So the opening point of the third period goes to the Wasp. Now your score, Fox with the service for the Tornadoes. one now wasp on top here in set number three to give you an idea of how close this match has been there's been a total of 14 tied scores in seven lead changes through just two sets. Back and forth a fair, but Tornadoes taking care of business. Three, two now. Tornadoes trailing Rodriguez with the serve. Service error point will go to the Wasp. 4-2 now the Wasp on top. Certainly Wasp with their backs against the wall, trailing 2-0 in sets. Abby Jennings with the service for the Wasp. Here come the Tornadoes on the attack. It'll be attack error point Wasp. Five two now the Wasp in the lead as the service continues for Jennings. Brooke Groves with the serve. Groves had an ace in that second set. Nice job defensively on the block for the Wasp. Morgan Graham checking in, giving Groves a breather. Fox with the dig. It'll be an ace for the Wasp. 7-3 now your score. Wasp on top here in the third set.
So Emory and Henry has run out to a 9-3 lead here and trying to halt the momentum. Assistant coach Bailey Loudon calling for the timeout. In case you didn't hear earlier, want to once again send her congratulations to head coach Anna Grant along with her husband, Seth Grant. The newest tornado, Kellen Boyd Grant, has arrived. Newest member of NATO Nation, Kellen Boyd Grant, was born yesterday, September the 4th. He's eight pounds, 21 inches. So congratulations to the Grant family. And certainly the tornado is in good hands with assistant coach Bailey Loudon along with Stephanie Johnson handling things. But congratulations again to head coach Anna Grant and her newborn. 9-3, now your score. See if that timeout helped the Tornadoes here stop this momentum of the Wasp. Nice idea there, however, the attack just a little wide. Eleven three now your score. So the Wasps on a bit of a significant scoring run at the moment. Tornado is able to stop the bleeding there. Eleven four now your score. Gordon trying to slam the door herself. Now an opportunity to set up her teammate. Attack error by the Wasp, Point Tornadoes. 11-5, now your score here in set number three. Brianna O'Shields, the freshman with the serve. O'Shields. Able to get an ace out of all that. 11-6 now your score. The O'Shields service will continue. Five foot 10 outside hitter for the Tornadoes. Service there just a little bit wide, so it'll go to the Wasp. 12-6 now your score. Nice job defensively by the Wasps. Tornadoes playing their home opener here at the Boschmer Gymnasium after opening the season at the Mac Attack Bash in Birmingham, Alabama. Mac Attack Bash hosted by Birmingham Southern this past weekend. Tornadoes face some tough competition in that one. Dropping matches to Rhodes, St. Catherine, and the host Birmingham Southern. But here trying to get their first win of the season. Rayleigh really Shiree now with the serve for the Tornadoes, trailing 14 to seven. Wasp able now to take an eight point lead, so one of the largest leads of the match by either side. Make it a nine point lead for the Wasp. 16 7, your score, period number three. Oh, 
So a timeout on the floor as the Wasp would open up the largest lead of the match for either side, a 17 to seven advantage. With the Tornadoes leading 2-0 in sets, Tornadoes won the first set 27-25, the second set 25-23. Tonight, the first of four straight, or check that. Yeah, correct, four straight home matches for the Tornadoes. Tonight against Emory and Henry. Tomorrow night, 6 p.m. versus Salem. Come right out here to the Boschmer Gymnasium. You want to see these student ac athletes in action. Then Saturday, two matches for the Tornadoes. A match at noon versus Piedmont International. And then a 4 p.m. match versus Guilford. Tornadoes will then hit the road the following weekend, Saturday, September 14th at Pfeiffer. But back to the here and now, the present moment. Tornadoes down two sets to nil. Check that Tornadoes with a two sets to nil advantage here in this match. The Wasp with a 17 to seven lead here in set number three and with the service, see if that timeout can maybe halt that momentum. Seventeen eight. now your score. Tornadoes needed that one, and now the trustworthy setter of the Tornadoes, the junior Hannah Gordon from right here in Brevard, North Carolina, Brevard High School with the serve. Gordon, the jump serve. Gordon setting up Fox. Big hit there by Fox, dug up by the Wasp. Tornadoes, back to back points now after the Wasp had run out to that 10 point lead here in the third set. Served by Gordon. Gordon now. As Tornado's unable to get the offense going on that attack, Point Wasp. 18-9 your score here in set number three. Rodriguez able to keep the point alive for the Tornadoes. Rodriguez again. This time setting up Fox. Fox on the attack. Fox, Gordon. Hutchins unable to put it away there for the Tornadoes. That sails wide, point Tornadoes. Eighteen ten, your score. Sydney Fox will handle the service for the Tornadoes. The sophomore out of Southport, North Carolina, South Brunswick High School. Served by Fox. So an ace there by Fox. Tornadoes have cut the deficit to seven. They were trailing by 10 here in this third set, but then a point there for the Wasp. Lauren Coolidge, the libero for the Wasp, will handle the service. Gordon setting up those shields. Attack is wide, point Wasp. 2011 now your score as Coolidge with the service. It sails long, Point Tornadoes. Point Tornadoes. So Madriana Rodriguez will handle serve for the Tornadoes. She had a stretch in that second set with three straight aces. See if she can get maybe a rally going here in set number three for the Tornadoes. 
Point Tornadoes. Rodriguez able to win that service. So now a 2013 deficit. What a dig there by Rodriguez, meanwhile. O'Shield sends it over. Wasp in a bit of trouble here. Might have been four touches. Yes, indeed, Point Tornadoes. So 20 to 14 now your score. So the Rodriguez service is indeed working out to the Tornado's advantage. See if they can keep this momentum going. Kill there for the Wasp. Ending that rally for the Tornadoes. 21-14, Emory and Henry. Checking in for the Wasp is Abby Jennings. She'll handle the serve. Brooke Groves now with the serve for the Tornadoes. Nice job there by Brianna O'Shields, the freshman with the kill. 21-16 your score. So Tornadoes staying within striking distance can perhaps battle back here in this third set and put this away in straight sets. If not, if Emory and Henry ends up winning this third set, certainly the Tornadoes with a 2-0 advantage in sets um, in a position of strength, but can't let their guard down, want to put this away if they can, but it's currently trailing by five points here in the third set. Tornadoes won the first set 27-25, the second set 25-23. Tornadoes looking for their first win of the 2019 season in their home opener here at the Boschimer Gymnasium. Great to have you along with us. Fall sports well underway. Men's soccer, women's soccer, volleyball, cross country. Men's and women's tennis plays a fall schedule and football. Uh, looking forward to their home opener, along with men's soccer. A big day on September 14th here at the campus of Brevard College. Both men's soccer and football will get started with the 2019 home schedules. But meanwhile, back here at the Boschimer Gymnasium, Tornadoes in their home opener up two sets to nil. Point Wasp fair. Graham with the dig. Gordon setting up her teammate nicely. But now an attack by the Wasp and the point to the Tornadoes. 22-27 your score. Here in period number three. So Tornadoes now have cut it to four points here. 22-28. Brianna O'Shields with the serve for the Nados. Nice looking attack there. Well executed offense by Emory and Henry. Now with a five point lead. 23-18. Emory and Henry here in this third set. Michaela Payne with the serve for the Wasp. Wasp able to keep it alive. Now an opportunity for the Tornadoes. Gordon setting up Fox in a kill by Sydney Fox.
So the tornado is able to stay alive here, 23 to 19. Every point just critical at this juncture if the tornadoes want to stay in this third set. So now a set point opportunity for Emory and Henry. In fact, they'll have several of them with a 24-19 lead if they need them. Graham with the dig. So set number three goes to the Wasp. Twenty-five to nineteen. The Wasp wins set number three, twenty-five to nineteen. And we'll head to the fourth set. Tornadoes, I know, would love to put them away in the fourth set, not have to force a decisive fifth set. But this has been a compelling match between these two squads, Emory and Henry, an institution you see quite a bit across the sports of Brevard College Athletics, not too far away in the state of Virginia, and heading on down for this weekday matchup, non-conference matchup with the Tornadoes, and certainly putting on a show for the home crowd here at what is affectionately known as the Bosch. And when the Bosch gets rocking, this place gets loud. And at moments, we've, we've heard that electricity here, that thunder that you hear from the home crowd. Heading to set number four as Emory and Henry wins that third set 25 to 19. Tornadoes offensively have led, been led by Sydney Fox with nine kills, Brianna O'Shields with eight, Brooke Groves with six kills, Hannah Gordon with 24 assists, leading all players on the court. Rodriguez with three aces, three of seven aces by the Tornadoes. And Rodriguez leading the Nados and digs with 18. Morgan Graham also with a nice job on the defensive end with nine digs. Tornadoes with two blocks, one by Fox, one by Shiree. As we get set for set number four, Emery and Henry led by Williams, seven kills. Cell with eight kills. Set number four getting started here at the Boschamer Gymnasium. Starting things off, the libero, Lauren Coolidge, for Emory and Henry.
opening point of the fourth set goes to Emery and Henry. Tornadoes up two sets to one. After the Tornadoes win that point, Sydney Fox with the serve. She has had an ace in this match. Rodriguez, Gordon, setting up O'Shields. Attack will go wide, point Wasp. So Emery and Henry with a 2-1 lead here in the fourth set, trailing to the Brevard College Tornadoes, two sets to one. So the point goes to the Tornadoes. 2-2, two, two, your score. And Rodriguez will handle the service duties. Rodriguez with the jump serve. That point will go to the Wasp. Three-two, Wasp lead in this fourth set. Rodriguez, Gordon. Gordon trying to set up Groves. Point will go to the Wasp. Four-two, now your score. Here in set number four. Brooke Groves with the serve for the Tornadoes. Here come the Wasp on the attack. Big hit there. The point will go to the Tornadoes though. Look like some sort of net violation against the Wasp. So we're all knotted up here 4-4 here in the fourth set. Nados with a 2-1 set advantage here in the home opener at the Bosch. now on top. Michaela Payne, the sophomore from Bristol, Virginia, Virginia High School, will handle the service.
little pause in the action here. It looks like uh, perhaps a game management situation as the referees have asked for ass some assistance from the administration at Brevard. Now we're back to action here. Michaela Payne with the serve. Rodriguez, Gordon. Shirley with the attack and this kill for the tornado. Five five all knotted up here in set number four. Briano Shields with the serve for the tornadoes. Graham, Gordon, Rodriguez able to keep it alive, but it's going to go the way of the wasp. 6-5 now your score. As the Wasp in a must-win situation here in this fourth set with the Tornadoes up two sets to one. Brevard would like nothing better but to put this away in four sets. So 7-5 now, Wasp with the advantage here in the fourth set. Shiree with the ace. Seven seven now. All tied up after the Shiree ace. Fox with a big attack dug up there by Coolidge. Tornadoes with the winning point, and Tornadoes have stormed into the lead here in the fourth set, up 8-7. 8-8 now your score here in set number four. Nine eight tornadoes on top here in set number four. Hannah Gordon, junior from right here in Brevard, North Carolina, with the serve. Nine nine now your score here in set number four. Coolidge will handle the service for the Wasp. Ten nine now your score. Wasp on top here in set number four. It's been an exciting home opener thus far. You can hear the Boschimer Gymnasium starting to pump up the volume. Eleven nine now your score as Coolidge with the ace. 
and then a service error. So Sydney Fox now will handle the service for the Tornadoes. Eleven eleven your score as the Fox service continues in this oh so critical set number four. Gordon. That will go the way of the wasp, however. Some sort of violation there caught against the tornado. So twelve eleven now. Wasp on top. So now all tied up at 12 after the Tornadoes able to win that point. And Rodriguez who has created some scoring runs when she has served earlier in this match, trying to do the same thing here yet again. Rodriguez with the dig, Gordon setting up Groves. So the Rodriguez service will continue. She has been very effective with the serve. And an ace there for Rodriguez. Jump serve again from Rodriguez. That attack just inbounds, point wasp. 14-13, tornadoes on top after that flurry with the Rodriguez service. Fox, here's Groves, little too much on that attack, point wasp. Fourteen, fourteen, all tied up. This game has seen a lot of tied scores, a lot of lead changes. A very competitive match between these two clubs. Attack there, handled defensively by the Wasp.
Rodriguez, Gordon. O'Shields, O'Shields again. Dug up there by the libero. Coolidge. Here's Coolidge again. Dug up there by Graham. This point will go to the Wasp after a compelling rally between these two clubs. Graham with the dig. Great effort there by Morgan Graham. Rodriguez with a diving dig herself. Rodriguez keeping it alive yet again. O'Shields on the attack. Wasp able to keep it alive. Shiree on the attack. Wasp keep it alive again. Another opportunity here for the Tornadoes. Graham setting up O'Shields. Block party for the Wasp, however, as a wall of defenders able to end that rally. Point Wasp, 18-15 your score. And a timeout on the court. Seems like a critical moment for the Tornadoes. As you can see, the NATO nation getting pumped up here at the Bosch. As this squad looks to win its first match of 2019. So Tornado's trying to stay alive here in this fourth set. Down 20 to 17, up to one in sets. Here come the Wasp on the attack and an effective attack at that. 21-17, now Wasp on top. So Hannah Gordon with the serve. Tornado's trailing by three.
Rodriguez. Setting up O'Shields, Rodriguez with another dig. Gordon setting up Fox. Wasp able to keep it alive somehow. Rodriguez. Fox again blocked by the Wasp. Twenty-two twenty twenty-two eighteen wasp on top. So Sydney Fox with the serve. A critical juncture here. Tornado's down by three points here in the fourth set. Would love nothing more but to battle back. As there's a timeout called by Emery and Henry, I think they realize how critical of a juncture this is as well, the Emery and Henry coaching staff. Do want to thank our crew behind the scenes here. Hayden Cassell pushing all the buttons, directing this production. Avery Lockwood on one of the cameras along with Levi Lamb. Great stuff. Hope you're enjoying the enhanced NATO Nation broadcast. Multiple camera angles and We'll continue to try to improve this product for you as the season continues here on the campus of Brevard College. Thanks for joining us. Back to the action here, 22-19 here in the fourth set. So the Wasp inching closer to tying this match up two sets apiece. Now 23 to 19 here in set number four. So Tornadoes certainly needed a break down 23 19. They got it in the form of a service error. And now the most effective server of the Tornadoes this evening. Mariana Rodriguez with the serve. See if she can get a rally going for the Tornadoes. Fox. Grove sends it over. Now an opportunity for the Wasps. Big hit there by Payne, but it goes long. Point Tornadoes. So 23-21, Mariana Rodriguez with the serve. So a set point situation here for Emory and Henry, 24 to 21. The Wasp with this lead in the fourth set. So another set point for the Wasp, up 
and the Tornado is able to fend off two consecutive set point opportunities for the Wasp. Have cut this to 24-23 as the NATO Nation getting going again here at the Boschimer Gymnasium. Very compelling match so far. Tornadoes won set number one, 27-25. Set number two went the way of the Nados, 25-23. Set number three went the way of the Wasp, 25-19. And here we are in set number four. The Wasp with their third straight set point opportunity. So 24-23, Wasp on top. Brooke Groves will handle the serve for the Tornadoes. See if the Tornadoes can fend off one more set point here and tie up this fourth set. Trailing 24 to 23. And the serve from Groves. Blocked there by the Tornadoes. And the Tornadoes have fend off three straight set points and have tied this set up 24-24. The Brook Grove service will continue as the volume gets cranked up again here in the Boschimer Gymnasium. The serve from Groves. Saved by Rodriguez. Opportunity here for the Wasp. Here comes Krussel. Now an opportunity for the Tornadoes. Dug up by the Wasp. Dug up by Rodriguez. Here's Gordon. She sets up Sydney Fox. Fox with the attack. Dug up by Col Coolidge. Rodriguez. Gordon. The rally continues between these two squads. Rodriguez with a brilliant save there with the dig. Now a nice dig by the Wasp to keep this long rally going. So another set point opportunity for Emery and Henry. 25 to 24, Tornadoes leading two sets to one and a timeout on the court. So 25, 24, as you can see, the NATO nation trying to urge their team, see if they can fend off one more set point down 25 to 24 here in set number four. It's been a exciting start to the home slate for the Tornadoes. Hope you can come on out here tomorrow night. The Nados will be back in action versus Salem. That starts at 6 p.m. here at the Bosch. And then Nados will be in action for two matches on Saturday versus Piedmont International at noon and Guilford at four. We're back to the task at hand which is the Tornadoes down 25-24. Rodriguez with the dig. Gordon, Cherie, now an opportunity for the Wasp. So Emory and Henry with a 26-24 fourth set win. We go to a decisive fifth set here at the Bosch. So the Tornadoes won the first set 27-25, won the second set 25-23. Emory and Henry then flipped the script, winning the third set 25-19 and the fourth set 25-24. 
26 to 24. That brings us to a decisive fifth set here at the Boschimer Gymnasium. Glad you're able to join us wherever you may be tuning in from. An exciting home opener for the Brevard College Tornadoes. It'll all come down to this fifth set, which, which team can dig deep and put this one away. Emory and Henry looking for their second win of the year. They're one and two entering this match. Tornado's looking for their first win of the season. Tornadoes have been led offensively by Sydney Fox with 10 kills, along with Brooke Groves with 10 kills, Hannah Gordon with 31 assists, Brianna O'Shields, nine kills. Tornadoes with nine service aces, including four by Rodriguez, two by Shirley. Tornadoes with total of 69 digs, 30 of those from Rodriguez, 14 from Graham. The Wasp have been led offensively by Kressel with 11 kills, Williams with 10. Snap with 24 assists defensively. Coolidge, the libero for the Wasp with 32 digs. Hope you're able to join us all season long for these productions of Brevard College Tornadoes Athletics. If you're not doing so already, be sure to follow the Tornadoes on social media, at BC Tornadoes on Twitter and Instagram. Be sure to like the Brevard College Tornadoes Athletics Facebook page. You can also follow Brevard College Athletics on SoundCloud and YouTube. You'll find some highlight videos on YouTube. You'll find audio content on SoundCloud, including the weekly talk show Tornado Talk, which comes to you every Monday night from Dugan's Pub. Hope you can join us this coming Monday if you're in the Brevard area. Stop on by Dugan's Pub, 7 p.m. for Tornado Talk. So we head to the fifth and decisive set. a back and forth thriller between these two teams. The stat that jumps off this sheet more than any other, these two teams have been tied 27 times this evening through the four sets, and there's been 11 lead changes, including 12 ties and four lead changes in that fourth set that went the way of the Wasp 26-24. Hannah Gordon will start things off for the Tornadoes on the service. Point Wasp.
So three straight points by the Wasp to start this fifth and decisive set. So now a 4-0 lead for the Wasp, who have come out with a rapid start here in this fifth set. Attack by Fox, kill by Fox. So 4-1 as Sydney Fox, after that kill, will have the chance to start things off with the serve here for the Tornadoes. Set number five. Four two now your score. So Fox able to earn a point with the service after that kill. And Got the Tornadoes on the scoreboard here in the fifth set. Rodriguez. Setting up O'Shields. Here come the Wasp on the attack. Four three now your score. Sydney Fox with the service. Five three now, Wasp on top as Chelsea Crussell will serve for the Wasp. Six three now, Emery Henry on top. That's another serve by Chelsea Crissell. Big hit there for the Wasp, dug up by the Tornadoes. Another point for the Wasp, up now seven three. Timeout on the floor, Tornadoes down seven to three. In a tough spot here in set number five. Well, hope you can make it back here to the Boschmer Gymnasium in person tomorrow when the Tornadoes host Salem, 6 p.m. Friday night at the Bosch. Meanwhile, Thursday night at the Bosch, what you're watching now, and Emery and Henry with a seven to three lead here in the fifth set. Now an 8-3 advantage for the Wasps was the two teams switch sides, which is customary in the fifth set. Switching sides midway through the set.
big point there. Tornadoes needed that one. Now, Rodriguez. Tornadoes have had several rallies with Rodriguez at the serve. Rodriguez able to keep it alive after that attack by O'Shields. And then Sheree with the kill point tornadoes. Eight five now your score. See if the Rodriguez service can continue to bear fruit. Nine to five now the Wasp on top. Michaela Payne with the service. And it's an ace for Michaela Payne. So now 10-5, the score here at the Bosch in the fifth set. Eleven five now the advantage for the Wasps. Timeout on the court. Timeout on the court. The Wasp have opened up a seven point lead, just three points away from clinching this match. Tornadoes are going to have to dig deep here in this fifth set to come from behind if they want to get their first win of the season. A very entertaining match here this evening at the Boschimer Gymnasium on the campus of Brevard College in Brevard, North Carolina in the mountains of Western North Carolina. Glad you're able to join us wherever you might be tuning in from. As some final words from Coach Bailey and Coach Stephanie. Rodriguez, Gordon, Cherie, Fox with the attack. Point Tornadoes. So Tornadoes certainly needed that. Now 12-6, the advantage for Emory and Henry. Brooke Groves with the serve for the Nados. The serve from Groves. Snap with the uh, set. Now the Tornadoes with Gordon setting up O'Shields. Tough break there for the Tornadoes and the point will go to the loss. Thirteen six. Now your score. So it's now match point. Wasp up fourteen to six.
So a second match point opportunity now for the Wasp of 14 to seven. So a very competitive opening night here at the Boschamer Gymnasium. As you can see, NATO Nation filing out of the Boschamer Gymnasium as Emery and Henry won this one in five sets. A compelling match. Tornadoes won the first two sets and then Emery and Henry storm back with the final three sets. We will try to get you some final statistics before we wrap up this evening's broadcast, but do want to congratulate both teams and certainly the best performance of the season thus far for the Tornadoes who had not won a set heading into tonight's match after playing some very tough competition in Birmingham, Alabama at the Mac Attack Classic. But the Tornadoes tonight fall to Emory and Henry, two sets to three. So we'll see if we can find some final statistics for you.
So the Tornadoes with a tough five set defeat to the Emory and Henry Wasp. Tornadoes won the first set 27-25, the second set 25-13. Emory and Henry came back with 25-16 win in the third set, a 26-24 fourth set win in a 15-7 win in set number five. Really dominated that fifth set just to put this match away, did Emory and Henry. Sydney Fox and Brooke Groves each with 11 kills. Brianna Shields with nine. Rayleigh Cherie with eight kills. 35 assists for Hannah Gordon uh, to go along with 10 digs. Mariana Rodriguez with 33 digs with four aces. And Morgan Graham with 14 digs. Tornadoes will be back in action versus Salem on Friday. That's tomorrow at 6 p.m. here at the Boschmer Gymnasium. And then two matches on Saturday versus Piedmont International at noon and versus Guilford at 4 p.m. Check out bctornadoes.com for all your news, stats, and information. And be sure to follow the Tornadoes on social media at BC Tornadoes on Instagram and Twitter and like the Facebook page. Brevard College Tornadoes Athletics. Also, you can find Brevard College Athletics on YouTube and SoundCloud. Thanks again for joining us tonight. Do want to thank our crew, Hayden Cassell, Avery Lockwood, and Levi Lamb for bringing you the sights and sounds and doing all the heavy lifting behind the scenes. And also want to thank Assistant Sports Information Director Joseph Marvin. Your final score for the final time, Emory Henry 3, Brevard College 2. We'll see you next time. Go Tornadoes.